It's been a pretty exciting time uh, in, in tech space and particularly around where we sit in video. Um, CTV is booming and as people you know, continue to cut the cord and the amount of viewers as well as ad inventory that's heading towards large screens and living rooms that's coming over IP is just increasing you know, quarter over quarter, year over year. Um, we've been lucky enough to be in the right place at the right time and we did some work to get there um, to be really the backbone of this emerging CTV industry um, from a programmatic perspective. Um, and I think one of the interesting things about where we sit is not only are we independent and the, really the only independent company at scale that's providing the solution, but we've expanded beyond just being a SSP to now providing ad serving technology and analytics so that we're really looking at being a broader yield management platform for a lot of the, the big publishers that are out there. So tell us what programmatic looks like for premium publishers. Um, uh, you know, what is going through, how open it is, how you work with DSPs. Uh, is it kind of an automated sales process through private marketplaces? Because uh, the premium publishers uh, are are cautious, of course, and they sure. want certain parameters. Explain that to us. Sure. You know, one of the things that we focused on is really carving a niche out with um, the premium guys. So people like Sling and Hulu and Pluto, these are guys that are pr producing long form, high quality content that's going on big screens. It's a different market than what you think about the SSP market is for display ads, for example, where there are tens and tens and tens of thousands of publishers um, of varying quality. Uh, in the world that we play in, this is around about serving 30, 60, 90 second ads that run in someone's living room. So the relationship that, that the publishers have with the advertiser in the programmatic world is very different. Uh, it's a much more controlled environment. It's an environment in which private marketplaces really lead the day um, and not in which it can be a free-for-all in which what many people think you know programmatic is so it's a much more controlled environment and I think programmatic plays the role of not being market maker in many ways but but just being um, a friction reducer between buyers and sellers right so creating private marketplaces in which buyers and sellers can come in transact safely but not have the need to have sales force is involved, right? So actually using machines to make the transaction and make it as efficient as possible. So tell us about uh, your relationship with Hulu. It's been ongoing. How has that evolved? And uh, could you explain the work you're doing with them? Sure. Uh, it's been an exciting uh, ride for us with Hulu. We started with them a few years ago when they were first dipping their toes in programmatic, the early days with Hulu, and which many people were just starting to get into a programmatic on the CTV front. Um, fast forward two years later to today, and now um, everyone knows the success of Hulu as they've had as an original programmer with things like the shows like The Handmaid's Tale and others. Um, that's really expanded their, um, their footprint of viewers as well as the amount of advertising inventory they have. Um, we've grown with them as they've grown. And the relationship has evolved from really them experimenting with programmatic to now them, to the company really getting into it with both feet. Um, the relationship we now have now with them is not just being a programmatic partner, but also looking at building solutions for them to accelerate um, but protect uh, the business that they have, uh, the digital advertising business they have in programmatic, um, and build unique tools and applications so that they can build an advantage for them in the marketplace. Now, what kind of tools uh, do you mean? Uh, so, you know, obviously they're all proprietary and they're things that, that Hulu wants to look at, but basically things that would allow them to create a more linear-like TV experience um, for both advertisers and viewers alike. I mean, that's the one great thing about uh, programmatic and CTV in, in bringing those two together is that you can bring the best of digital uh, TV or digital applications uh, along with a linear TV experience. They're looking at building more and more tools that allow them to take advantage of data and take advantage of the large screen and the um, addressable nature of that screen so that they're not just providing a 30 second spot, but providing a, all the advantages that you'd get out of digital advertising, traditional digital advertising, plus those in TV advertising and bring them together into a, a winning combo. And finally, Mark, tell us a little about the demand side, what you're seeing, um, the advertiser's interest, uh, uh, brand building, direct response, 
big brands, little brands. We hear a lot about these newcomers, yeah. these brand direct. Uh, tell us what's going on uh, kind of broadly in, from the demand side. Yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's a really interesting time on that front as well. I mean, you mentioned direct to consumer brands. I mean, they have been eating up OTT and CTV inventory like crazy uh, because they came out of a, a background of a digital marketplace, a digital background. So they understand, you know, the targeting aspects of it, the data-driven aspects of advertising. Uh, but they're trying to build brands as well. These are direct-to-consumer brands, and there's no better place to do that than in a large screen in someone's living room. So um, they've been early adopters of OTT and CTV technologies to build their brands. But what's really getting exciting is the amount of dollars that we're seeing coming from the really traditional big advertisers, the big brands that have spent so many billions of dollars in linear television. So CPG and auto. Uh, the same guys that have been buying television spots for the last 60 years have now started spending a significant amount of money in OTT and CTV as well. So um, we're just scratching the surface of those dollars, right? You still have a $70 billion you know, U.S. linear TV business out there. Um, but that when those dollars start really rolling in, that's when things are going to get really big.